in this video I will show you how to add a class in Turnitin and how to check similarity for a single file as well as for multiple files so first go to turnitin.com and login you will be directed to the home page of Turnitin add class here you can add a standard class or a master class write any name for example business research 2020 any name that you want to give to this class and write any enrollment key for example I'm writing 9999999 choose subject area student level and you can set the end date of the class and then submit now the class is successfully created you can share this class ID and enrollment key with the students who can use this to access the class and upload the assignment for similarity check however you also need to create assignment within this business research 2020 class otherwise student will not be able to upload any assignment so just click on add assignment it will take few seconds and then it will direct you to the next page Now here you can write any name of the class uh, of the assignment for example business research and this is very important to choose the options because your similarity report will be produced based on the options you have selected here. So allow submissions after due date if you want yes otherwise no you can uh, also put this option generate similarity reports yes and gen immediately first report is final you can choose this option and exclude bibliographic material yes exclude quoted material yes small sources no and allow students to see similarity reports yes so that students can also see whether their similarity index uh, report is high or within the threshold level then this is very important you have to choose no repository otherwise the assignment or the project will be stored in the repository choose all these options as yes you can check these options and then submit now here the assignment is created now it's ready for you and your students to upload the assignment go to more options submit and you can upload any single s file here now if you want to upload any single file you want to check one file at a time then you just fill up your name first name last name submission title and choose from your computer and then upload that's it the single file will be uploaded and you can check the similarity but if you want to upload multiple files together then you click here and replace it with the multiple file upload then you will see this new page and here make sure that your all files must meet this specific criteria mentioned here so if if all is fine then you can choose file i have five projects that i want to choose so project a so i will upload all the projects one by one here project b once your file is successfully uploaded you will find out yes here accepted yes it means that it is successfully uploaded once you upload all files here and find this yes it means that all five are more than that whatever the total quantity of your files 
successfully uploaded and you can move forward here you can write the name of the student who have submitted this uh, file to you or you can write the name of the title of the project so let's say i am writing group a group b c d and e if you want to uncheck if you want to remove any of the project you can still uncheck any option then it will not be processed but in this case we are checking similarity for all so upload all and then submit now your all submissions completed successfully and here you can see the title that you listed over there project group a b c d and e and here you didn't mention any author name so therefore you cannot find any author name here these are the date this is the date that you can see here today 26 december 2020 so is listed and automatically a paper id is created so it will take few seconds and then your similarity will be produced you click refresh and then now you can see here the similarity is produced three of the projects group d b and a with green color it means that the similarity is less than 20 percent meeting the threshold level but two projects group e and c the it's a yellow color means that the similarity is high you can decide whether you want to return these two projects to student for them to reduce the similarity and submit it again now if you want to check similarity report in detail and want to see whether this similarity is from journal or student paper or from the from the internet sources so you can go one by one so there are these all five projects are listed here you will find out all projects here now you can download here current view and your this project a will be downloaded you want to download group d click here and current view and this will be downloaded now let's say group a downloaded already so go here click here group a and 18 percent similarity 14 percent is from internet sources two percent from publications and nine percent from student papers but if you want to see for other group that you just now downloaded so similarly you will find out that group here in the download so in this way you can check the similarity for all group but if you want to download all together to save your time check all and download file so in this way you will get all these similarity reports together in one file in a zip folder here is group d similarity total overall is four percent internet source is one person publication zero percent and student paper is just three percent so this is i downloaded one by one but you can also download all together so in this way you can add a class in in, in internet in and you can check the similarity for a single project single assignment as well as for multiple assignment together thank you